I'd say as much as we're many leagues apart now and crew are looking for promotion back to League One in the league. They're oh, doing amazingly well, aren't they? Yeah, Pro yeah, yeah. Fifth place, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, so, so well in that uh, that promotion mix. As much as it's uh, a real sickener to look at the top of that League Two table and see crew and Stockport County doing so well. You know, we can't, <laughs> can't begrudge them too much given this. So, yeah, the significant gaps in the... Uh, in the league pyramid as much as we are trying to work our way back up there it would be nice to be playing some of those sides and some more competitive fixtures than this one at some point we have an interesting crew 11 as well this evening we think they're going to be playing a 4-3-3 a strong mix of academy graduates and fringe first team players today most notably is Ryan Cooney 24 appearances in League Two for crew this season, signed in the summer from from Morecambe and a range of, of um, youth internationals as well in that uh, in that crew lineup. Matt Matus Holtschek might be one to watch out for, current Slovakian under 18 international. And also the likes of Callum Aegis, Wales under 19 international as well, had two appearances with them. Cutting in field, just gets away from the. Uh, Covering Walker, now Crew will look to put the ball in for the first time, the heads go up, it's off the head and it's in actually at the far post, Evans with the glancing header, O'Keefe rooted to the spot and their Crew take a very very early lead here, two and a half minutes gone. Yeah, it's poor that one from Mac isn't it, it's, I don't know if, if O'Keefe's just misread the flight of that maybe, thinking it was going wide, either way it was a, a really good flick, it caught the, the Mac back four completely unaware weren't anywhere near tight enough to, to Evans. The, uh... yeah. Now they've got a chance to play forward, which Dancy does into midfield. As player three on the left might do well to hold the attack up initially. Colkett thinks about the switch, now goes for it, but it's easily headed clear there by Walker. It's constantly moving the, uh, the crew front line. It's so fluid. And here we go again. Ball up, volley and goal. Nice, easy goal there. Evans again in behind Heathcote. Clinton not quick enough to come across. And uh, actually a very nice finish. It was a really good finish. Hit first time on the volley by, by Evans for his brace there. And I think that was a testament to, to what I was just saying a second ago. You know, that, that came from, from just that brilliant movement from, from Crew Evans dropping deep and then running off behind the shoulder. Matt didn't track the run at all. Alongside three more senior defensive colleagues, is not. Stood out in a negative way. Yeah, dealt with the threat well down there, I think, so far tonight. There's uh, Kai Major. It's a nice ball in from Freddie Savage to find Owen Larby. Manages to shrug off Cooney. Can get one on one here now against the crew defence. Tries to get a shot away. Shot comes in. That's a great goal. That's an absolutely superb goal from Tunde Olabi to make it 2 1. What a run that was. That's, that's brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, he took the ball almost on the halfway line. And what was great for me was that his initial touch took it straight across the defender. So it was either going to be a run on goal or a foul. And then he did the same thing on the edge of the box as well. Just no chance for the crew defenders to, to be tempted to get a foot in there. Showed really good composure. And a nice finish into the corner. No chance there for Davies at all. So the corner was taken short with Major now. Cross comes into the box. Can't quite find offside. Heathcote. Was just to be offside. Does put the ball in the back of the net. Just goes a little bit too early there. That's unfortunate for Mac. Finished it well, actually, didn't he, Heathcote? I think it might have been centre-half colleagues combining with a little fence and nod on to Heathcote. He peeled away at the back there. I'd say he's uh, yeah, not averse to playing up top. i say it's a few years ago now, though. As Crew got a chance on the right-hand side now. Cross comes in with Aegis, falls at the feet of Holcek. Can he make it 3-1? He does. And that's really unfortunate there from Mac as the ref does blow for half-time. It was concedes. When we're getting back into it, half time, Macclesfield one, Crew Alexandra three. That was a really good move down the, the right hand side between Alport and, and Holcek. And as you're saying in that first half, just showing that bit of quality, Holcek, really good with the ball at his feet. Wriggled away from the Mac defence and gives Mac Crew a much more commanding lead than what it was just seconds earlier. Ball now comes into the feet of Evans couple of goals for him in that first half and now the shot comes in from the angle and crew have their fourth it was uh, Lee 
with a rasping drive. Heathcote just allowed him too much space to get the shot off. And uh, that is game over. Superb finish there from Lee, the uh, Preston North End Loney. He's just absolutely blasted that from from 10 yards out. I think the, the power, they're taking it away from O'Keefe. Keep possession, now it's with the centre-half Cooney just inside Matt Territory. He steps forward, goes out right. Low overload over on that side. It's coming to a central area for Lee. Lee with the ball across, and there it is again for Crew. Substitute Moore with an easy tap-in on the edge of the six-yard box. His run was not tracked, and uh, that is a fifth here for Crew. Yeah, and you've got to say, it, at this stage of the game, I think it's fully deserved from a crew perspective. Again, Mac just struggling to deal with the uh, the runners. I mean, they had such a such an overload on that right-hand side at that stage. When the game is so comfortably won at this stage, out on the left-hand side now with Hurst, looking to get direct again. Did have flashes of, say, good spells, Hurst, in the first half. I've seen a lot of them in the second. Jay Watt now on the edge of the air, looking for space to get across it, just get in. It's a great header in the end, it's a consolation goal for Matt through Nathan Becker gets his first goal for the Siltman, and that was a lovely ball from Shay Watt there, wasn't it, to found him in the, the edge of the six-yard box. Yeah, he got his head up nicely, didn't he, Watt? Took a, took a touch as it was rolled into him, spotted Becker, just peeled off the defender. McNulty, who he got away from, with a little cushion header across the goalkeeper. Nice to see Becker get his first goal. Last kick of the game, I reckon. You'd imagine so. It's going to be in swinger here. No, go short and you're correct, correct Matt. Ref blows his whistle. Full time, it finishes. Macclesfield 2 through Alexandra 5. I think it's safe to say, crew by far the better side for the 90 minutes we've played here in this Cheshire Cup quarter final that Matt go out of. Won't be all negative though, a couple of a couple of bright sparks. I'd say we want to watch on the on the highlights will be Tunde Olavi's first a brilliant solo effort. Run from 40 yards, takes two man two men on. It's a lovely finish past the crew keeper and then a, a debut Matt goal for, for Nathan Becker as well. A really nice header from a perfectly weighted Shay Watt delivery. And yeah, can definitely take some positives. It'd been a good run out for those for those young players tonight. Good experience against a very strong, although inexperienced crew side.